Although we can keep our work on the computer and view the spreadsheet on screen, it is sometimes helpful and even necessary to print out our work. To do this, we need a printer or access to one. Let's take a look. Earlier in this lesson, we customized the Quick Access Toolbar to add a Quick Print icon. Clicking the Quick Print icon will send the current worksheet to the default printer. However, we want to adjust our spreadsheet before printing it. Let's start by previewing the way the spreadsheet will print. That way, we can make any adjustments to its appearance. Click the Microsoft Office button and move the mouse pointer over the expand arrow next to the print option. Select Print Preview from the box. The preview screen shows us how the page will look on the hard copy printed page. It's good for checking the spatial arrangement of the data elements. Notice our ribbon has changed. Our contextual tab now reads Print Preview, and we have print related buttons on the ribbon, giving us control over the appearance of the printed page. Click the checkbox next to Show Margins in the Preview Tool area. This shows us a set of guidelines representing our current margin settings. We can easily change the top, bottom, left, and right margin settings by clicking and dragging the corresponding margin until it fits our needs. Move the cursor to the line just above the title, Turning Pages Bookstore. It turns into a sizing arrow. Click the line and move it down. Although it's very easy to use these guidelines to set margins, Excel gives us even more precise control over them. Click the Page Setup button on the Print Tool area. Select the Margins tab. Margins allow us to enter specific settings for each margin, together with controls that automatically center a worksheet's data. Let's change the top margin back to 0.75. Toggle on the two options under the Center on Page heading, horizontally and vertically. The preview screen shows us how the new settings affect our data's appearance on the hard copy page. Click OK. Our spreadsheet is centered vertically and horizontally on the printed page, but it seems a little too small to read. Let's remedy this. Click the Page Setup button again. Select the Page tab. This dialog box controls page orientation, scaling, paper size, and quality. The defaults have our workbook printing on letter paper size at 8.5 by 11 inch, scaling at 100%, and portrait orientation. Click the radio button next to Landscape to change our page orientation. Click the OK button. Now our entire table is visible on the page. Click the Close Print Preview button. The dotted lines around the page show the area that will be printed at our new settings, and it includes all our data. Let's make one more adjustment. Open the Print Preview again. Click Page Setup and select the Page tab. We want our budget to fill up the page without changing the font size. To do that, we use the Scaling commands. Scaling enables us to change an object's size by a percentage, or fit it to a specific number of pages. If we want an object to be half its current size, for example, we set the Adjust To value to 50% normal size. If we want an object to be twice its current size, we can size it by 200%. Let's scale our budget up. Adjust the size by double-clicking inside the scaling box and type 110. We can also use the increment arrows to increase or decrease the size. If we wanted to fit the document to a certain number of pages, we could use the Fit To options, which will shrink wide documents down to the width of a single page. For this document, however, let's stick with scaling our document to 110%. Click OK to return to our preview screen. The spreadsheet looks nice, but it doesn't show the grid lines we saw on our screen. Grid lines are the horizontal and vertical lines used to separate one cell from the next. Let's add the grid lines to our printed spreadsheet to make it easier to read. Click Page Setup again and select the Sheet tab.
There are a number of options under the Sheet tab that can help control the appearance of our printed document. Print Area controls which cells in our document are to be printed. We'll learn how to adjust this in another lesson. Print Titles control whether we'd like to have certain rows or columns repeated in a document. This can be useful if we have headers on the top of our document and expect the document to print over multiple pages. By repeating the headers, we won't have to flip back to the first page in the printed document to understand what each column represents. The Print section contains a number of options, including whether to print our document in black and white, to include row and column headings, such as the ABC designations for the columns, and to print as draft quality. We are interested in printing grid lines on our document, so click the Grid Lines option. Click the OK button to accept the change and close the dialog box. The grid lines now show in the print preview. There! That made things easier to see. Our spreadsheet looks pretty good. We could print from the preview screen by pressing the print button, but let's look at some more print features. Close the print preview window. Although we made these changes from the print preview screen, we can make the same changes from the page layout tab as well. Click that tab now. We can set the margins, change orientation, and change page size and print area. All right, let's prepare to print. Click the Microsoft Office button again, and click Print from the pull-down menu.